this South American meat fest is definitely what I'm thinking. So I'm go I'm aiming for your dart. <laughs> <laughs> Great strategy. Just aim for my dart. Good mythical morning. We're tossing our darts and eating some sandwiches, but first up, a voting update. If you are a resident of Alabama, California, Michigan, or Pennsylvania, today is the last day to register online to vote. Rat, tell them where they gotta go. You gotta go to votelikeabeast.com and get registered, come on, y'all. And if you're voting by mail, you absolutely gotta make sure your ballot is postmarked and in that box today. Stop procrastinating, pause this video, fill out your ballot and mail it in. We can wait. Link, what's your favorite sandwich? Uh, I gotta go with the number eight club sub, Mike's Way, no tomatoes, extra oil and vinegar, baby. Wow, oh, that's not Mike's Way. You can't say Mike's Way and then add three different things to it, can you? No, that was just my way of ordering, so okay. yes, I can. I think that's called Link's Way. Uh, anyway, yeah. we know a thing or two about American sandwiches, but can we tell what they've been slapping between bread around the world? It's time for Where in the world do these international sandwiches come from? Here's how it works. We're gonna try a sandwich that was created or popularized somewhere in the world, and we're gonna guess where that sandwich is from by throwing a dart at that country over here. He doesn't even flinch anymore. Chase the he doesn't even flinch. Trush. We've got that trust, plastic hand man. Come a long way. Chase is gonna measure some stuff <laughs> in order to determine that maybe I've won for once. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll find out. Now, the person with the lowest score at the end, of course, is the winner. And since I won last time, Link gets a special advantage dart. This time it's the Dilly Dilly dart, which is just a handful of mustard coated sliced dill pickles you can throw at the board okay. whenever you want. Uh, the mustard that gets closest is the mustard that we're gonna use. Now, the winner will administer a mouthful of mayo to the loser and good mythical more. Oh, look at how we're getting started here. Some hey. big juicy. You sure that's not a lasagna? I know, man. All right. It's So it's got a egg on top. I'm coming through, baby. And, then I'm and what's in there? Show the people. What is that got? pastrami? Oh, there's whole sausages, Link. There's whole sausages. How are we gonna get into this? Because I, I kind of want to get in. Oh just my kinda, goodness, just, that is a, <laughs> it's a meat loving land. I feel like that I we're gonna use be dark knife now. again to get uh, through it. So it's like a full fledged uh, sausage in there. And is that a burger underneath, or a, there's at least three kinds of meat? Is that that's a marinara sauce? It's not particularly spicy. The thing at the bottom, I don't think. I think that's steak. All right, I gotta go first here. What am I gonna do? So some sort of tomato I soiled, sauce. Soil my dart. <laughs> All types of meat. Okay, so this is a place that mm. really values a hearty, hearty, har, har, hearty meal. I know that they love- I'm still chewing steak over here. They love their meat in Argentina. Maybe Portugal? Maybe Portugal? I don't know. The thing that makes the most sense to me is Argentina. I could see it happening in Cuba as well. Something about the fried egg. I'm feeling like it, Argentina. Oh, you're going, you went oh, a little high. I skewed for, a little bit there. Uh, I, I mean, this South American meat fest is definitely what I'm thinking. So I am in agreement, but I'm not sure. So I'm, go, I'm aiming for your dart. <laughs> <laughs> Great strategy, just aim for my dart. But a little bit closer Did to Argentina. You hit my dart. Oh, what, what happens then? Whoa. Whoa. See, that's close, see? Okay. You guys just ate a francesinha, which is filled with ham, sausage, steak, covered in melted cheese, doused with a tomato and beer sauce, ah, yeah, and okay. topped with a fried egg. The name means little Frenchy because it's a take on the French croque monsieur, but this version is from Portugal. Oh, <laughs> okay, so I, yeah. I did a good thing by going for your dart. You could have gone for Portugal. Uh, Portugal was calling you me a little bit, but Portugal. it wasn't. It wasn't calling me like Argentina. It's a Portuguese sandwich. Yeah, Portugal. Whoops. You okay? okay? Yeah, I was gonna do a bit with the thing, but Rhett had eighteen <laughs> and Link had nineteen. He was gonna oh. act like he was. Scribbling, taking our order, but he dropped the pen because it's like he's working at a sandwich shop. That's why he's not wearing his famous map shirt. We're not happy about it. What? what? Gosh! What do we have here? We've got French fries Galore. on a sandwich. Now, how do you feel about the the 
the buns that are cut not all the way through because see that's the problem. You got to do the rip and then you got to do the smush. That's my opinion. Well, but look what happened when I did the rip. So I, I got a little teeny little dini. Oh, it tastes like a pimento cheese sauce. That is not beef. Oh, it's not beef. I don't think. Mm. It's very good. Okay, out the way, brother. I gotta get. I gotta get. Just it down dart there. over me because I'm still eating. Well, take the, the plate sauce. with you. Take the plate with you. Okay, I know a little thing or two. I know that they like their French fries in Europe, and I know that they like their French fries in Belgium. Um, could you back off a little bit? Well, are you gonna throw any second? I mean, you I, haven't even given an answer. I, yes, I'll back off. I got. I got to get up there. Don't be so sensitive. What? I got to get up there, and I <laughs> <laughs> see. Look, he's choking already. See, see what you've done. Um, I, I feel strongly about Belgium, and so I'm gonna go with it. A little bit low. Yeah, the fries of it all is, is interesting, but that that's definitely meatloaf. But I don't know what meatloaf tells me that, like you said, the fries haven't already told you about Belgium. Just I, I, I agree with you. <laughs> Come on, Belgium. man. Belgium. I'm gonna stop thinking out loud, or I'm gonna stop thinking the wrong thing out loud. Oh, I hit Norway. Okay, you just had a buttered baguette stuffed with flattened Danish-style pan-fried meatballs topped with heaps of french fries and covered with sauce and a loose. This sandwich is called the mitraillette, and it's quite popular in Belgium. Yeah. Oh, I think I've taken the lead. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm not thinking out loud anymore, but you'll see where I threw it. <laughs> and those are meatballs. All right, Rhett had seven and Link had six. Oh, wow, we're tied up. Wow. This is a light one. What? It's is, just white bread. Is this, this looks like and something. cream and fruit. Something that'd be stacked up at a baby shower. It's so much cream. Is that like Cool Whip? Kiwi, banana, mango, strawberry. I'm just not equipped to eat things that have cream on them anymore. All right, so we're tied, which means that we revert back to the last game. Which you won. Which I won, so I'll go first again. But I'm, you know what, I wanna quit thinking out loud. I don't have any real reason for this, but something about it says Cuba to me. The smart answer would be to go somewhere near the middle of the board to hedge my bets, but that's not how you win this game. You win this game by being decisive. Yeah, that's right. Mm, yeah. It's a little, little country. Cuba. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Be in Cuba. I'm really feeling like this is a South African thing. You know, it, you just, it's a, you know, you just want something refreshing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be assertive as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might as well. I'm gonna go a little north of it. Yeah, oh. feeling it today. Okay, you just had a fruit sandwich, aka a fruit sando. It features sliced seasonal fruits layered between sweet whipped cream and served on a decrusted milk bread. Fruit sandos can be found in bakeries and convenience stores in. Japan. Oh, oh, really? Does it make sense to you now? Because it still doesn't to me. No, no, nothing, it, nothing about it makes sense. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, it could be anywhere. Rhett, you have 62, Link, 38. That is beautiful. Well, there's tomatoes. You're gonna take those off. No, you know what? I wanna give them to you if you want them. And this is some sort of meat. Let's eat the meat on its own, just to. Oh! That's not, that's a, that's not a meat. That's a, that's a organ. Is that brain? You know what, I'm just gonna eat a whole bunch of lettuce cause I love lettuce. That's a, that's an organ. I, I believe that's brain. It it's looks brain. fabulous and it, you know what, it doesn't taste horrible. It's brain. I mean, ugh. Yeah, it's definitely, it's brain, look at that. Whew. So now, oh gosh, I've got got brain so, on my so hands, Link, you've got and I have lead. to throw a dart first. So you go uh, first. I cannot <laughs> remember the last time I went first in a dart game. Me neither. It's yellow fried brains. You know, you got some sort of chive situation. I thought it was a kebab, and I was thinking like, I, I was thinking Iran. If you just were to see this, like, like, a like this, this combination of ingredients, you'd be like, oh, this is like something from. Tell me. You know. Yeah. Like a Middle Eastern uh -huh. restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's what I was saying. So you're trying to get me to go to Iran? Oh no, no, I'm just saying that that's the, you're, I, you're my only to, point of reference is the spread looks that way. I'm going to Iran because I want to. Oh, I hit it! Okay, I wanted you to go Iran. 
You stinker. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Well, I I didn't go because, like I said, I didn't go because of you. I said Iran before you said Iran. Uh, I, something, I, I don't what know. What is it? I don't know. I, I think that this is on the western part of the map, and I actually think that Argentina is probably the best guess because if they like meat, they like meat then they may go the next thing, the next level and say, we wanna use every part of this thing. So this might be like a calf's brain, actually. I just don't think they're eating brains. I don't know if they're eating brains in Iran, but Argentina? Yeah, yeah, they're eating them there, definitely. <sighs> Golly, I'm horrible today, I can't aim! Sure, this sandwich has mustard, mayo, lettuce, tomato, and pickles all served on a roll. Is that what the yellow also, stuff is? Mustard? Yeah. <laughs> has lamb brain cooked with spices, onions, and eggs. Our very own Nicole recommended the sandwich because of how much she loves it. God. It's called the Mogs sandwich. Oh, I hope I didn't butcher that. I'm sorry in advance. AKA the Persian brain sandwich. Gosh! And it's from Iran. Dang it! And also, <laughs> as a special request, I would love to see you guys actually put the sandwich together and take a bite because Nicole does legitimately. We ate the brain uh, yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had some brain, and I can imagine what it would be like. Nicole oh, loves this. Up. Yeah, look. Well, thank you, Link. Uh, yeah, you're. You just went so far in the lead. You definitely. You deserve to eat this. Yeah. I'm doing this because I'm winning and because I'm a fan of Nicole. Yeah, Rhett, you had 34, and Link, you were almost touching Iran. You had three. Oh, I didn't touch it? Okay. We got a tall daddy. There's a big cylinder of some spam-like thing. Is that bologna? You're supposed to, like, chest compression it. I think that that's going to just send it all the way through the bottom piece of bread. It's unsmushable. You got to get to it before you get through it. Mm. Some form of potted meat. Lots of relish, onions. That's um, not, you know, that tastes pretty good. I like it. You, you, this is unprecedented. I mean, you 121 almost, you, to 66. I've almost doubled you up, Link. I, and you have a cheat dart. I don't know what to you, do with my hands. You can't uh, lose. You can't lose. Oh, yeah. This is not on the board. Yeah, this is. It's on the board, but it's not labeled. Mystery round. So at this point, I, I will let you. I will pass it along. You can elect to use it, but I will caution you. Caution me. It may not help you. It may not help me. Oh gosh, so what? See, I know like in Hawaii they love spam, but that's not spam. All right, gotta play defensively. I mean, I can't remember the last time I won this game. <laughs> I'm being defensive about playing defensively. What do you mean? What, what, what does that mean? Right in the middle of the board. Mm, that's the smart play. I wish you hadn't come up with that. Right there. Right there in the middle. What you thinking? Well, I was gonna say Eastern Bloc, but I'm not gonna, so that is my official answer, but I'm not gonna throw it there because it would be no fun. It wouldn't give you a chance to win, which so would I'm, be fun for you. So I actually think that the, the island guess, the uh, Hawaii guess is a good guess because this is not spam, but it might be like a spam loaf that they make from spam. So you're going way over there to the, the far left of the board. And I apologize for whatever uh, gets on the cabinet back there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never made a mess that big. <laughs> Look at what you've done to our, our, our cabinet. Yeah, but almost at Hawaii. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Somebody's okay. got a chore. Your final sandwich was the Pori linen with white bread, a thick sliced pork sausage patty, relish, onions, garlic, ketchup, and mayo. This wild hamburger hot dog hybrid of a sandwich hails from the very real country of Finland. Finland, oh, Rhett! Oh, really? That's, that's why you were destined to lose. Ah. Uh. Rhett, you had 30, and <laughs> Link, you had 13. <laughs> Oh, wow, Link. Incredible performance, man. I mean, one for the ages. I almost feel like I need to apologize. Why do I feel that way? Uh, well, that, that's something you need to talk to your therapist about. <laughs> uh, I will, tomorrow night, actually. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name's Josh, that's Ethiopia, and that is South Sudan, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. He's on a border. He's on a border. That's the only way to explain that video. Click the top link to watch us try all the mustards we could find in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.